uh, Matt of Active Campaign, uh, here to talk a little bit about rest hooks. Um, before we get started, Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what Active Campaign is? Hi there. I'm a developer for Active Campaign, and we've been in business for about 10 years now, and we specialize in affordable, easy to use email marketing software for small and small to medium sized businesses. So we try to uh, get companies and small businesses up and running as quickly as possible, um, giving them the, the best marketing tools that they can find. Cool. So how long have you guys had uh, an API around? I'd say it's been about three years now, maybe a little longer. Probably okay. maybe three to five years. Gotcha. Now, has your API has uh, webhooks, actually subscription webhooks, which is what uh, we're calling rest hooks uh, for the sake of this. Mm -hmm. uh, has that been around since the beginning, or was that something you added later? That was a pretty recent addition. I'd say probably it's been about a year now since we've had them. Mm -hmm. Cool. Can you uh, give us a sense of what uh, you know adding rest hooks to the API has done for the company? Well, it's been great. I mean, it's it's obviously served a lot of purposes from decreasing server load from uh, developers pulling for updates, which they would do on a routine basis. So um, offering the webhooks has helped not only that, but um, for developers that are creating integrations w with Active Campaign, they have an easy way now to get data quickly and with the least amount of effort uh, without having to, to re repeat requests to, to, our, uh, to our service. Cool. Do you have a sense of uh, how much you know this has reduced like server load from pulling on your end? Well, before we offered the API, the, the REST hooks, we um, we did notice quite a bit of server load as far as um, uh, clients requesting a lot of data and they're just pulling constantly using different filters and all that. So it became kind of something that we had to keep an eye on, and it got to the point where there were some times where it, it slightly disrupted our service. So um, Offering the webhooks and having that now has, has greatly changed that. So it's been it's been excellent to, to offer that for developers. What has uh, the uptick been like uh, for from your developers? So you obviously probably had a previous developer community that was all doing polling uh, using your existed API. Um, has the the transition to uh, REST hooks happened for all of them? Some of them. What's that looked like for uh, your developer community? Well, we, we tried to announce it early on, so everyone w was kind of aware that, that the REST hooks exist and the web hooks in general, so we kind of wanted to get the word out as much as possible, and it, and it seems like a lot of developers are adopting to it pretty quickly. Um, we're getting less questions about polling um, requests through our API, so that in itself kind of gives us an idea that maybe uh, people are using web hooks more. Um, we don't get a lot of uh, support tickets about that, so it, it's generally adopted easier, and a lot of people are just using it more now. That's great to hear. Um, so, any any last things you want to add about uh, you know rest hooks in your company? What's been good? What's been challenging? Any any interesting insights you found that uh, may not be uh, you know super obvious to the rest of us? Well, you know, I just want to mention, obviously, I mentioned the decreased server loads and all that, and uh, developers are becoming more familiar with webhooks, so it's becoming kind of commonplace where companies kind of have to offer that, because if you're going to build an integration with a service, you need to have easy-to-use easy, easy to use tools, and REST hooks are definitely easy because uh, it, it makes the user experience better, so when someone's building an integration with Active Campaign instead of having uh, the user copy and paste the webhook URL, the developer of the application can go ahead and create, create the webhook through the script and avoid that extra step of um, the user experience, which is a huge thing with us. So user experience is huge, a huge benefit. Um, obviously, with polling, it's not quite real time, maybe every 15 minutes or so. So with, with the webhooks, it's, it's more, more closer to real time as it can be. Mm -hmm. um, the, the adoption for developers, it's, it's a less barrier of entry. They're not making all these filters and, and polling requests. Um, and I think just in general, we just, for us, we offer particularly more webhooks for more actions than more of our competitors do. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's great for us to, to, for somebody that's comparing email marketing services and they say Active Campaign has eight or nine or ten different actions that are sent to webhooks versus another a competitor, it's great for us to be able to offer this, and it's easy to do, and it's just a benefit for, uh, for everybody all around. 
That's cool. So you've got you've met, you found UX benefits, you found server load benefits, uh, you found uh, you know developer happiness benefits. It sounds mm -hmm. like it's a win, been a win 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 for you guys kind of across the board. Oh yeah, great. Cool, Matt. Well, I, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us a little bit about how you guys use rest hooks at Active Campaign, uh, and uh, we'll we'll catch you later. Okay. Thanks for having us again. Take care.